Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is the weekend, so we're feeling good. Jace is running around with his stroller, one of his favorite toys. We cleaned up most of the house already. We have our little fall candle going here. This smells so amazing. We got the door open with our nice breeze coming in. Fall is here. Actually, this is too loud, so I am gonna close it. We got a lot done today. Richie took Jace to get a haircut. Can you show everybody how handsome you look with your haircut? Mm. So cute, buddy. I had time to shower today, so that's good. Um, if you're new here, welcome. Thanks for joining. My name's Nicole. I make videos sharing my, my faith, faith family, family and, and lifestyle. lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> this is my husband, Richie. I am 30, almost 38 weeks pregnant, actually, in Three days, I'll be 38 weeks pregnant. Wow. Wow. So that being said, our big goal for today, me and you, buddy, is to clean out the office. Okay. So if you guys follow me over on Instagram, at Nicole Ayla Green, you've already seen our office is insane. It's basically turned into a storage room. It is full of boxes right now. Primarily things for baby girl. So like a car seat, the cribs in there. What's the other thing? The portable, um, what do stroller. you call it? Oh, the stroller, the double stroller. Like, but what do you call the portable thing? The, um, I was gonna call it sleep set. I was gonna it's say cage. <laughs> playpen. Playpen, yes. The portable playpen thing. And yes, a bunch of stuff still from Jace's birthday party that I have not put away yet. Obviously, if you guys follow along, you know Jace just had a birthday party. Everything was in the room for storage. The Cricut machine, there's a bunch of new Cricut boxes that they sent over that I haven't even opened yet. There's just a million things in there. I don't even work out of there anymore. I pull my laptop out and I work in the living room. The point is, it needs to get cleaned out before this girl arrives and we don't know when she's arriving. The crib needs to get set up ASAP. So that's like a major goal for today. She needs to have somewhere to sleep when she comes home. So that's gonna be your job, my love. Okay. How are you feeling about this girl arriving in only potentially less than two weeks? I think she's coming in next week or so. You think I'm going into labor early? Probably. Why? I don't know, I just have a feeling. Yeah, I feel like we said that last time and then it didn't happen. Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. Because you just feel so pregnant towards the end that you're like, I'm surely I Absolutely must be going much. into labor any day now, and yet, sometimes you don't. You make it up to your due date like me, and then you take castor oil and put yourself into labor. I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm gonna do that this time though. Okay, that being said, Jace, shall we go show everybody our horrendous office? <sighs> Give us a little tour. Welcome to Nicole's crap. <laughs> It's our crap. <laughs> no, it's your crap. This is 90% of your crap. But, it's for the good of this family. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> that down there is, what's that, JC? Is that your little sissy's car seat? It's, it's a car seat. We got like a bunch of Cricut boxes up here. All the Cricut stuff I've already opened. This ended up in here. This is our sh uh, crib. That is the playpen. This all is Mockingbird um, Dubber Stroller. Everything back there is stuff from the birthday party I have to put away. This is the state of my desk right now. So he has a marker, babe. Can you grab the marker from him? <laughs> I don't know if you can really see my belly, but it's getting pretty big here. Um, that's the plan for today. As soon as Jace goes down for his nap, we're just gonna Get started on cleaning the room. We will show you guys along the way a few of the things that we actually had to buy for baby girl and basically do an unboxing for you guys, maybe setting up a few stuff. Aside from that, if you enjoyed today's video, if you like our content, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're always notified when we put out a new video and a thumbs up always goes a long way, so we appreciate that. We're gonna get to cleaning. Four, five, four, five, six, uh, hey. Stand behind me for one of them. No. 
Just well, just a one, and then we'll go into the video, and then we'll go right into it. Mom. You have to come just right here, Mom. babe. Mom. Okay, put one hand on that. Okay, we did it. Okay, so where the heck are we gonna begin? I think that you're probably gonna want to watch football today, right? I'm gonna go and put the crib together while watching football. Football. That's what I thought. Okay, I'm gonna start in this area because this is where all the birthday stuff is. A lot of it is just trash that I haven't put away and the more I can just throw out, the better I'm gonna feel. I can't throw this out. to get rid of this stuff and every single thing the kid makes you're like so proud of them <laughs> but I'm like if I literally kept every single thing this boy brought home oh my god we would become hoarders which I feel like this generation is trying to avoid becoming hoarders like their parents are talking about not being a hoarder meanwhile I'm saving all this string but I know this will get used you will see every single Christmas gift wrapped with some of this <laughs> ribbon these are actually all bags from the birthday I know I'm not the only person who saves bags and reuses them let's be honest do we need to run out and buy a brand new bag every single time no hashtag recycle okay moving on to this corner it's basically all the cricket stuff it's just that uh, it's a lot of supplies. I love my Cricut. I just pray one day I have, you know, a more, little more space. Trash, trash, more trash, trash. Found the measuring tape, trash. A lot of boxes I'm gonna have to break down. Prepare for labor while we're here, right? This is probably one of the more comfortable ways to sit while pregnant and literally prepares you for delivery. I'm just like looking at uh, Jace's birthday cards. <sighs> so cute. Okay, Richie's finished assembling the crib. We're gonna go put in the room to kind of see how it fits, see if we need to adjust anything with it. Oh, it looks cute, babe. <laughs> Shut up. That's what you're gonna say to her daughter? Shut up. <laughs> Might need to be a little lower if I want it to be like flush. See how you're sinking and then it's... What? Oh, crap. We may or may not end up removing or er, moving that back there. Cause can you move that for a second? Like we could play around with it until we figure out exactly what we want to do. But that's basically gonna be the nursery nook area that we're working with since clearly we cannot put this girl in the psychotic office. <laughs> we might end up just renting storage and then turning her. I mean later, like maybe later in the new year we can put her in the office once that room gets figured out. But I don't know, eventually we will do a little nursery nook like tour, final tour once it's completed tour. I mean, it's literally a corner. So thanks, babe. Okay, next on the agenda is the car seat. Um. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> Are you running like Jace? Okay, we just realized there's no actual setup of the car seat, obviously, other than putting it in the car. To Nicole's dismay, her husband gets off the hook early than she No, is. I have more things for you to put together. No! <laughs> Babe, what do you mean? The double stroller. Ugh. But in case you guys are wondering what car seat we went with, we went with the Graco Snug Ride Snug Fit 35. And my main thing with the car seat was just to find something that was a little bit more lightweight because our other one was an Orbit and it was so heavy, although it was like really good because it was a, uh, with a stroller system and it was very heavy duty. Oh yeah, this is way more lightweight. Oh, also this is compatible with 
the double stroller from Mockingbird. That was the other big, like, major thing we were looking for. I feel kind of bad because I never help with the car seat. But it's just one less thing for me to worry about. Like, I literally, not even sure if I know how to install a car seat if I had to do it on my own. That's pretty embarrassing. But hey, hey, I gotta give something to the dad. Okay, we gotta, we need to delegate as women because we end up doing so much. Richie is working on setting up the Mockingbird. Meanwhile, I am going to break down all the boxes so that Richie doesn't have to worry about it because I think he's already starting to get agitated at all the to-dos I'm making him do. <laughs> Let's just make this a breaking down boxes ASMR scene. Might be the stupidest ASMR you've ever heard. <laughs> So we obviously have no problem making this a single stroller, but now we're just trying to find instructions from Mockingbird to make it into a double. So we're trying to figure that out in the moment. We think there's an extra piece in one of these boxes that we need. We're unboxing and assembling a million things today for this vlog. Richie, this is how he deals with instructions. He hates instructions, hates them. He would much rather just take a wild guess at what to do and hope that it turns out <laughs> correct and that he doesn't have to unscrew every screw and re-put it back together. Every man who... Is that every man or is it just you? Okay, let's do a poll. Does oh. your man, this is for the men, oh. does your man or if you're a man? All right, just for the camera. <laughs> Instructions for that, huh? Okay, that was a bad example. That was a bad yeah, example. I... That was an easy thing to assemble. Yeah. I'm talking about like real things. Okay, here's the yeah. poll. Does your man use the instructions? Yes or no? Vote now. See, that was a lot faster than we thought it would be. It's already done. Can you actually show me how to close it? I'm off the clock, man. <laughs> I think I earned this. I just feel the burn go down your throat. It hurts so good. We have so much leftover soda from Jace's birthday party. We normally don't really have like soda in the house. We just do a lot of LaCroix. But we've got a bunch of Sprite, Pepsi, Fanta, so. Someone's gotta drink it, right? Hopefully you can see some progress behind me. I mean, it is looking pretty, pretty decent considering um, there's still so much that needs to be done in this room. Rishi was literally just looking on his phone for storage units because he's thinking we need to just get a storage facility. He really wants eventually for baby girl to be in this room as a nursery. I'm more so like, yeah, but if we're moving to a house in the spring, why don't we just leave her in there with us until we move to the new house and then there I could set up the nursery because I know it's gonna fall on me obviously to like, prepare the nursery. I shouldn't say follow me, like yes, I enjoy that stuff. But anyways, the point is we have made a ton of progress. Um, I would love to, I don't know if I'm gonna get to this before baby girl comes, but eventually actually go through every single thing in this office. I think I talked about it back when I used to do my minimal series, which kind of abruptly stopped out of nowhere. <laughs> um, but there's so much purging Okay, I can, I'm so hot, I can't wear this anymore. There's so much in those drawers that need to be purged, 
organized in here. I don't even like want to show you guys because a lot of that birthday stuff I just cleaned up technically went right back in here. All of those baskets, books, things need to be actually organized. Like what is going on up there? <laughs> That's just a BB gun. <laughs> Calm down. Um, this closet, not gonna open it. There's things in there that need to get cleaned. Regardless, we got through a lot today. We got through every single box. Um, I moved the guitar there. So all the boxes are, are broken down and gone. And obviously now the strollers in here, which we still need a few more parts to fully assemble this into a double, double stroller. Those are a few extra pieces for the crib um, that we might need at some point. I already told you guys that's my four moms. And then that was the pack and play that we opened. And then all the Cricut stuff went in the corner because there's so much of it. That's actually like the stuff I use. And this is stuff I need to probably send back. And then look, I have space to work again. Praise be to the living God. Um, I can finally use my office again. All of the boxes are broken down in the hallway that's trash and all the boxes that need to go out babe you are phenomenal today dad of the year we love you we adore you okay he's over it um i'm over it too we're gonna end this vlog here now this needed to be done for so long um i'm hoping to get a few more vlogs up before baby girl arrives she's due october 12th could be, <laughs> she could be coming anytime in the next two weeks. So I may be doing another video that's like setting up her nursery nook, more nesting and organizing stuff because I plan on kind of just quarantining for the next few weeks and literally just cleaning the house and getting everything prepared for when she arrives. I can't believe, I cannot believe it's happening. It's gonna happen soon. If you wanna see our daily lives, make sure to follow me over on Nicole Lagreen Instagram because most likely the like baby announcement and everything going on will be up on there first before it's ever on YouTube. So just letting you guys know that if you want like immediate information on my life. That sounds so weird. Okay, love you guys. I'll see you in the next video.